Today I do feel like we're going to win 4 now. we're positive, uh, but yeah, I feel like we are going to win 4 now. So I think it's going to be Hopper 2, Morris 2, uh, yeah, if we can hit 25 likes on this, that would be great. I am still disappointed from the last game, but you have to take it, but yeah, today I am feeling positive, uh, it's the same team as last game as well, so yeah, uh, I'll see you when uh, it's good. Don't you know? Don't you know? Twenty-three minutes in, and uh, yeah, it's still no, no, no real chances. Uh, a couple of free kick shouts, but nothing's really happened at first twenty minutes. Dad, what do you think's happened so far? Oh, sorry, um, not a lot really. They had that one chance, but it's a half chance really. Um, and then Murray Wallace has done a good run and put a good ball in, but just out of um, Tony's reach. Yeah. But it's just this. We're, we're coming into it a bit more now. Oh. Yeah, we are coming. We are starting to get uh, into it a bit more now. Uh, yeah. So I did uh, plug the Shrewsbury game, but uh, it turned out because it was quite cold, it didn't really look as good. And uh, my face, you couldn't really see my face because of the light, and it was quite difficult to edit. So uh, comment down below if you do want me to upload it, but I don't think it's worth uploading. But just let me. Let me know if you want to see it. I have got it edited and everything. It's just a matter of uploading, but I don't think it looks too too good. So uh, just let me in the comment down below if you want to see that. But yeah, so far it's uh, quite an even game. Go on. Oh. Well, it's just pound and the shot out. But stay on now on the attack, so I might as well just stay on. They got a corner. Uh, good block from uh, Bishop then, but yeah, they are starting to get into it. So. Unbelievable! So the corner just got uh, whipped in. Uh, no, no one's coming to the ball, and uh, Lee Camp just—I think it's Lee Camp or something like that—just hit it from maybe 34, 30, 40 yards. And it just seemed to find the bottom corner. That's shocking defending and shocking. I don't really think Gilts could have done out about it, but defenders should be straight at the ball as soon as it's whipped in it with a crap corner. That somehow's made a goal over it. So it's about six or seven minutes before half time and we're still losing 1 0. Uh, I'd say we're getting dominated at the minute. Ivan Tony's not playing too well, uh, none of the squad is. The standout player today is Yates again. Uh, what do I change up? Stick Townsend on, Clark, left back and right back. Push Bish into the middle, maybe bring uh, a key bond as well. It's just it's boring to be honest. There's been one shot on target all game, I think, and that was, uh, I'd say, quite a fluke, but you could say it was a good shot. But yeah, Scunny's performances lately have been dire. Um, if we carry on, we're definitely not getting no Wembley ship this year. Uh, we're, def we're just going to slip out of the playoffs altogether, I think. Um, Rochdale have been all right. They're not a very good team, are they really? Well, they're 22nd in the 22nd league, they might be improving our own, but it's a team that we should really be beating. But yeah, if you are enjoying this vlog, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Yes, get in! Come on! Get in! Yeah. Ivan Tony scored an header. Uh, Lloyd's could really do it about it, but yeah, it's a winning corner. Uh, Morris had a free kick, hits it, and uh, uh, yeah, it kind of just like went over. We got a corner, got whipped in, and uh, yeah, off we're in the box, and then Ivan Tony put it in. Get in, one one. Oh my! What a save that was by Gil. Big sore on top. We got a corner. It's going to be delivered by Morris. Um, yeah, a lot better this half. Uh, Brighter, everyone's 
playing a lot better. Ali Gunner must have said something decent at half time, but it's getting whipped in now. Go on. Go on. Oh. Paul Wallace, we're going to edit top corner then. Go on. Go on. Oh. Go on. Oh. I thought he was in it when just past the post. I thought we were going bottom corner. It looked like it was just going in. I think that was Cameron Burgess who went that. Yeah, oh, should be 2-1. 30 minutes left and it is uh, still 1-1. One, one. Rochdale have got a corner that they've whipped in. We've got a free kick. But yeah, there's uh, 12 minutes left. It's been uh, a lot better from Scunny, but not good enough. I don't think that's... We're worst. still not. Okay. Clark's a bit off it, but he has just come recently back from injury. So uh, I want Townsend on, maybe a keep at last 10. Uh, try and get a goal. But yeah, I do still think we can snatch three points. We need three points. As Plymouth is still losing 2 0, and uh, Peterborough, I think, are drawing 0 0, so we could gain points over them. Because they have still got games in hand. But yeah, 12 minutes left, and it's still 0 0. Yeah. Tricky, isn't it? That's it. One one. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Uh, we probably got what we deserve, to be honest. Uh, it was one one. Uh, better Robbie second half, Alexander. but not not good enough again. Uh, I'd say Rochdale maybe deserve three points there. They want they want the best. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you for the next video, which will be Oxford away. to 11 right now and I've uh, just been reading up on Twitter I'm just about to finish editing it up the vlog and I realise Graham Alexander's been sacked and so is Neil McDonald surprise what do I feel about this I feel, I feel like he's been let go not in the right not in the right way I don't think I think we should have just left him until end of the season I think if he could keep us in the playoffs then fair enough but if he couldn't just get rid of him but uh, yeah I am sad to see Graham go he has done a lot for our club I wish him all the best um, don't really care about Neil McDonald. I think he's even he messed our club up this season. Not Graham, but playing too many players out of position. I think enough was enough, to be honest. And I think the majority of the fans will be happy about it. I mixed emotions, but it has come as a surprise. Um, but yeah, things happen. Comment down below who you'd like to see in replacement for him. Uh, won't want to see Steve Cox in club. I know that for sure. But. I don't know, leave your comments down below with managers that don't have a job and uh, would be a perfect fit for Scunny because maybe we might be splashing uh, next season. Maybe it might be the best for us to stay in League One, spend a bit of money with a new manager because hopefully we're going to see uh, Clark Townsend in normal positions next week and uh, hopefully we're not managerless. To be honest, I'd put Nick, da Nick Dawes in charge until the end of the season because uh, he's done it before, he can do it again. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. It's come to surprise for me and probably most of you guys, but, yeah. I'll see you for Oxford away on Friday.